Good morning, dear students. Today's lesson is reading comprehension. It's about the right way to wash our hands. Before we start reading, let's discuss what our text is about. As you know that we should keep our hands clean all the time because of the germs. What are the germs? Germs are tiny creatures that we can't see with our own eyes like bacteria and viruses that can make us really sick. They are small and sneaky that they creep into our bodies without being noticed. That's why we have to learn the right way to keep our hands clean. Now, let's start with reading the text. But before that, I need to remind you that you should read the text carefully, understand it, and try to guess the meaning of any difficult word from the context of the sentence. Then read the question well, understand it, and try to find the answer from the text. Now let's start reading. The right way to wash your hands. You've been told to wash your hands before you eat. You know you must wash your hands after going to the bathroom. You should wash your hands many times during the day. They may not look dirty, but they have germs on them. Today we know that many illness are caused by germs. Germs are also called bacteria and viruses. They are too small for you to see. They are on your hands all the time. Do you know the right way to wash your hands? 1. Wet your hands and turn the water off. Rub your hands with soap. Always use soap. 1. Wet your hands and turn the water off. Rub your hands with soap. Always use soap. Soap may not kill all the germs, but it does wash away oils on your skin. Wash your hands for 15 to 20 seconds. You can sing the ABC song. Rub your hands together. Rubbing loosens the germs so the water can wash them away. Rub the palms together. Use one hand to rub the back of the other hand. Then switch. Rub between your fingers. Rub under the around and around your fingernails. Now, you can pause the video and give yourself time to read the text on your own before answering the questions. Now, let's start to read the questions and answer them. Number one, what should you always use to wash your hands? Now, how are we going to look for the answer? We're going to use a keyword in the question and search for it in the text. We're going to look for what should you always use to wash your hands. You'll find the answer in the second paragraph in uh, the first line. It's telling you to always use soap. So the answer will be what? Yes, you should always use soap soap. Number two, write a sentence telling when you should wash your hands. Again, you're going to go through the text and find the answer. You'll find it in the first paragraph, the first two sentences. So the answer will be, you should wash your hands before you eat after going to the bathroom. Question B. Complete. 1. Germs are too for you to see. Let's go back to the text. You'll find it in the first paragraph, line number 7. So the answer is, germs are too small for you to see. Number two, you should wash your hands for seconds. 
You'll find the answer in the second paragraph in number 2. So the answer will be, you should wash your hands for 15 to 20 seconds. Number 3. Rubbing the germs so the water can them away. You'll find the answer in the second paragraph number 2, sentence number 3. Rubbing loosens the germs so the water can wash them away. Thank you and that's it for our lesson today.